Hey Yu-Gi-Oh! community, it's YGO Paladin back here with another video and today we're going to be opening up 11 packs of Blazing Vortex. This is the new set that's coming out. Today is our locals uh, premiere event that will be happening today and tomorrow. So if you guys want to help support your locals, be sure to go to your nearest locals and purchase however many packs you want to get unless they have a restriction on how many you can buy. Uh, but originally I only bought 10 packs, but my locals was actually having this really cool uh, scratcher promotion where you scratch off one of these prizes and whatever you get, you get something and mine was an additional booster pack so i got a, a 11th pack for no cost so that was actually really cool i like that and then we also got this uh very nice field center here with the arm dragon thunder level 10 which is really neat i think i'm gonna hold on to this one because it's arm dragon and it's uh gx nostalgia you know i would have done the i would have done this a little bit sooner so sorry i'm late for the video i was actually out doing a lot of stuff even buying some vintage toys and everything so i had a pretty good day so let's see if we can actually top the day by hoping pulling some secret rares or at least a starlight that would be really neat so let's go ahead and just get straight into the pack opening okay so starting off with 11 packs let's go ahead and get cracking straight into these uh hopefully we can pull something really good i know this set's a little bit kind of not as good as phantom rage i think but I think it has some really cool cards in here. So let's start off. We have the uh, Nero, the Dream Mirror Disciple. We got War Rock Skyler. War Rock was a bit disappointing, but I'm hoping that the next support actually is a little bit better. But we'll just have to wait and see. We have S Force Professor uh, Di Gamma. I do like this archetype. I think this archetype has some potential, especially if we keep getting more support. Then we have new, some new Fabled cards in here, which I never thought we would actually see. And then we have Wow Secret Rares S Force Rappa uh chiomaru i i i'm that's actually really cool i like this card so s4 is like i said i think it has some potential in there and i'm glad we pulled the secret rare that is neat that thing looks beautiful so i'm gonna more likely hold on to like s4 stuff so i'm gonna hold uh spriggans are actually very low rarity which i'm kind of surprised about i think the xc's is the ultra rare then we have title try dream mirror recap and tri brigade uh <clears throat> rendezvous so yeah, um, not bad. <laughs> I do like that we pulled the S Force card right away. That was our first pack, and that was actually the uh, the free pack that we got too. So wow, that actually that was actually really neat. I would not have pulled that secret rare. Now we have reinforcement of the army's troop, which was our revamp of reinforcement of the army, which is an actually funny like continuation of that card. Uh, linear equation canyon. Is this that one that has some weird? Yeah, okay, I remember. I think I remember that one. We have Arm Dragon Lightning. We got a bunch of Arm Dragon support, so we got that GX nostalgia, like I said. Spring Guns Rocky. And then we have Sacred Tree Beast Hyper Hyperton. Hyperton. Uh, yeah, so this one is our super rare. Uh, Spring Guns Captain Spargus. Ojama Pink. I forgot Ojamas are in here. Uh, Digital Bug uh, Registered. Uh, and then the Tri Brigade. So that is it for our second pack. Let's get into the third pack. So now that we pulled the secret rare, I wonder if we can pull another secret rare. We have Arm Dragon Ritual. Dogmatica Genesis. Oh, this is the new Metaphos Fusion. Yeah, the new Metaphos Fusion. I'm surprised none of those were high rarity. S4 Showdown, which is nice because they have the Time Thief on there and there's like some uh, with the Psy frames. So that's kind of neat, I think so. And what? <laughs> the same secret rare? <laughs> okay. We got S4's Rafa Chiamaru. I'll take it. Okay, we got two of the same secret rares, but you know what? I'm fine with that. <laughs> now we just need a fuel spell, huh? So now we have Raging Storm Dragon, uh, Bear Fort 9. This is the uh, TCG exclusive ritual monster, which I think is kind of cool, but it's a bit, uh, I don't know. It's like kind of like a hand trap, but just not a really good hand trap. We have Spring Guns, uh, Pedro uh, Machina, and Spring Guns Blast. Okay, can we pull another secret rare? No, I don't think so, because this was, I think, out of a fresh box. So that was two secret rares. Wow, that would have actually been somebody's box of two secret rares of the same card. That would have been funny, actually. Now we have a uh, Guitar Gundam's uh, Fairy Archer. That's that plant summoning one. Yeah. Dogmatica Genesis. Uh, Giga Thunder Gyclops. Oh, we got Lila. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Live Twin Lila Treat. This is really cool. I think Live Twins, Evil Twins have potential to do something, especially if we keep getting more support. We know we are getting another extender and Lightning Overdrive. So I'm hoping that this archetype actually shapes up to be really good. 
Um, only time can tell, but I, they really need another boss link monster. Something that can actually benefit for both. Like maybe a link monster that has both of the both of the twins in the art or something like I know we got the main deck monster, but they need a really big boss monster. You know what I mean? So hopefully we get we get another thing in uh I think it's called Magistry. Something. I can't remember what the next set is called. But uh yeah. They have potential. I I, I know they do. <laughs> then we got reinforcement army troops, linear equation canyon, armed dragon lightning, and then we have or, I don't know I don't know, the Dream Mirror uh Torment Tour. This is another Dream Mirror support. Uh, unfortunately, Dream Mirrors are still not that good. And we have Fabled Treason. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that one. Starway to the Fabled Realm. And another Tri Brigade. So Dream Mirrors, yeah, they didn't get as good. Um, even with the OCG helping out, Plunder Patrol did get really better, though, with the uh, level 4 extender. That one actually was actually really good. I was hoping they would have made more extra deck monsters because that thing is missing two extra deck attributes so hopefully they do in the magistry set then we have army troops dragon ritual ancient warrior knight of the armored dragon too bad it's not called paladin because i actually wanted to think about getting paladin cards just because i my name's ygo paladin then we have emr oh this is a super emr what is this tribute one machine monster the target one card in the field for every 1000 ritual attack with the tribute monster destroyed those cards okay that's uh i know i don't know about this card actually this is not a tcg exclusive is it no okay then we have the tri brigade uh, this one's a TCG exclusive, and I know because this is from, like, this is like a scene from uh, 5Ds, because that's uh, Shield Shieldwing and Tuningware, I think that's the name of it, but that's actually kind of cool. It's like an image from 5Ds, and I like collecting cards that actually use uh, screenshots from, like, the shows. Now, this one is the Ritual Spell card, and there actually is a, a mistake on this. This was supposed to be a Ritual Spell, so it does have the icon on there, so I think the first wave is not going to have the Ritual on it. So I don't know if that's considered a misprint or if they changed or they some of the packs do have it like that. I'm not too sure. But I know that it is a ritual spell card. So it does have that icon on there. Then we have the Spriggan's Rocky. We have dual avatar ascendants. Uh, heavy metaphors. Yeah, this one I thought would have been like at least a super or an ultra just because it's a metaphors link monster, you know. So I thought that was going to happen. Then we have Pendulum Encore, another TCG exclusive card. And then we have Ancient Warriors Rebellious Link Fung. Sorry if I cannot pronounce that name correctly. Then we have Archering Staff of Despair, which is pretty cool. It's another Axe of Despair. Then we have Radiant uh, Spriggans and an Armed Dragon Armed Dragon Blitz. I do like this card because it has the old Armed Dragon with the newer Armed Dragon. So we got four packs left. So let's open up. So I don't think we're going to be getting any more. Unless we get another Ultra Rare. That would be neat, actually. So we could have get another Ultra Rare or... I don't know, because we already got two secret rares, so I don't think we can get a third. <laughs> Heavy Metaphos. Oh, well, this is a Metaphos pack, huh? <laughs> Dual Avatar Ascendants, the Dream Mirror. And we have Dragoonity Knight. I'm not even going to pronounce that one. Uh, this one, I don't think it's actually being used on the uh, Dragoonities. Uh, Dragoonities will be coming out in the April set now, because it got pushed back. Uh, Virtual World definitely need this card uh, to run in their deck. Uh, but anyways, Dragoonities did get pushed back. They're no longer in the March slot. So it's going to be in early April, I think. So I'm wondering what they're going to reprint in there since the Dragoonity structure deck is getting imported into that set. So I, I don't know what they can... If they don't reprint Miss Valley Bird, or what is it called? I think it was called the, Bur the Bird one, the one that discards. I think that card's going to skyrocket in price, but they could reprint that like easily. Uh, Knight of Armed Dragon... Ancient Warrior Saga, Fabled, Mark Crescent, uh, Springen's Call, and we have Angel Statue, Aruzu, Azuru, as our super rare. War Rock, Ophrius, we, ha we haven't actually really pulled that many War Rock cards. Tidal Tray, Springen's Blast, and Digital Bug. Two packs left. Let's see what we can get here. I'm hoping for something really, really good. Well, I, we already pulled the two secrets and the ultra, so if another ultra rare would be really neat, but I highly doubt we can pull a Starlight or another secret rare, so I've uh, got to shoot for that ultra rare. Linear Equation Canyon, War Rock Skyler, uh, Giga Thunder Gyclops, Armed Dragon Ritual, and oh, okay, we got another Ultra Rare. We got Wind Witch Diamond Bell. Yeah, Wind Witch has got a lot of support, and I know there's a Legendary Duelist set that's coming out that focuses on Wind decks, and I know a lot of people are saying, oh, Wind Witches, Wind Witches, but to be honest, I don't know if they're going to get some more support because they just got support in this. I don't know. It's it's kind of iffy for me, you know. Speedroids are definitely probably going to be in that slot because that's a that's a popular thing. So, 
Who knows? Uh, for speedroids, though, if they do speedroids, Konami make a clear wing, clear wing dragon that's a, a speedroid dragon that actually works for both. I don't know. I don't even know if they have one, but there's a clear wing like speedroid dragon or something like that. You know, something like that. Unless there is already one done, then never mind. We have Glyclops on. This is our last pack, by the way. So let's see what we're going off with this. We have Glyclops, Steel Star Regenerator. This is a TCG exclusive as well. The Link Monster. Then we have Spriggan's uh, Bregan, uh, S Force Professor Die Gamma. And we have the Parametaphose Azorless. So this is our last card for the pack. Not bad. Then we have Spring in the Iron Strike. Yeah, this one I'm surprised was not a secret rare or at least an ultra rare, high rarity. Because I think the last couple of fusions have been higher rarity, right? Then we have Wind Witch, uh, Blizzard Bell, War Rock Ordeal, and the level 9 uh, TCG exclusive ritual. So that is it for our pack openings. And I'm not going to lie, I was not expecting to pull secret rares really all that much. And this was out of a brand new box. So, wow, the, I guess both secret rares were on the same side. So, unfortunately, we did get the same secret rare, but you know what? I'll take it. If this archetype ends up doing anything good, maybe I can actually build this deck to be something. I don't know. I, I gotta mess around with it online. But we did pull the Lilla Tree, which is really neat. Like I said, I think this deck has potential to do something in the future. And I know people are playing it with the Eldritch right now, and it's doing some work. But I, I feel like there's something coming in the future sets that will really take off live Twin Evil Twins. But let me know what you guys think about this set, and will you be guys be getting any for your... Uh, locals premier events because like i said if you want to support your locals go down buy some packs and just have fun opening packs that's why i love doing these i love opening up packs and <laughs> just the two secret rares were nice we didn't pull a starlight rare but that's okay we pulled two secret rares and i think i'm gonna hold on to those so we'll see what they do in the future so with that guys thank you so much for watching hope you did enjoy this video please hit the like button if you did be sure to subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and with that i'll see you all in the next video